I think one of the things that is so fascinating about this group of medications, the GLP-1 receptor agonists, is that unlike medications that we utilized before to help patients with weight loss, patients can really get away with not necessarily changing their diet in terms of the content of their diet. A lot of times, because these medications are so effective at suppressing hunger and appetite and cravings, patients will naturally start to eat smaller portions. The other reason for that is the larger the portions, typically the more side effects patients have. So there really is a behavioral feedback and mechanism with these medications that helps patients with portion control. That being said, we know that the optimal amount of weight loss and the optimal amount of hormone improvement that can be seen, and again, resolution of medical comorbidities like high blood pressure, sleep apnea, or abnormal cholesterol levels is really when patients synergize using these medications and making dietary changes that are not only gonna promote weight loss, but promote overall health. So while I do see some patients come back and tell me they're eating the same things that they were when we first started working together, and they're just having smaller amounts of these, over time the goal is really to start to make dietary improvements so that patients are getting adequate protein, adequate fiber, and a variety of nutrients so that they can have appropriate micronutrition as well.